I nervously knocked on the door. Too late now, I thought. I had traveled all this way to the outskirts of a different town to an isolated house at the end of a dimly lit street to knock on a man's door that I had never met in person. We had spoken online and even on the phone a little, but this felt very different. What was I doing? I was wearing a white blouse and a red thigh-length skirt. Underneath, I wore stockings, a garter belt, pink panties, along with matching bra and silicone inserts. My face was fully made up, complete with winged eyeliner and cherry red lipstick. My earrings matched my silver chain necklace. I had styled my naturally blonde shoulder-length hair, framing my face flatteringly. I steadied myself on my ridiculous six-inch black heels as I waited. I took a moment to compose myself. I had wanted to do this for so long, and now was my chance. I needed to suppress all the doubt, otherwise I was doomed to repeat it over and over. I knocked again. Coming, I heard a voice sing out, a light, flowery voice I recognized from our previous chats. To call them just chats trivialized our feelings. They were more than chats. We had bared all to each other. Still, first meeting in person, why didn't I insist on coffee in a public place? There was no need to go so fast. Except there was. I really needed this. Years of denying what I really am. Failed relationships. The cycle of buying clothes, throwing them out, and buying them again. It was time to admit who and what I really was and dive in at the deep end. But if I wanted this, why was I shaking so much? The thing that kept me from turning and running away was how I was dressed. The feeling of my satin panties holding my boy parts in and giving me a flat, feminine front. The feeling of my bra and inserts tight against my chest. The feeling of my stockings rubbing up against each other as I walked, constrained by the tightness of my skirt. The feeling of my hair brushing my neck and shoulders as it moved. The weight of my eyelashes as they fluttered. The taste of my lipstick and the scent of my perfume. I felt feminine. I felt beautiful. I can do this. Michelle opened the door. Wow. He was, I mean, she was lovely, elegant, and utterly feminine. We gave each other little air kisses, and I stepped in where we stood, facing each other. Taking it in that we were finally together for real. I was mesmerized, and I had only just walked through the door. Michelle was a little older than myself, and her experience in her dress and style showed. She made the most of her more feminine features, particularly her beautiful eyes, which sparkled, defined by expertly applied eyeliner mascara. She wore a black lace top, which was see-through, enough that you could teasingly see her black bra underneath, displaying just a hint of cleavage. She wore a short skirt that was slit on the side, showing off a touch more leg when she moved. She had tan hose on and leopard print heels. Michelle moved towards me and lightly touched my arm, as she looked into my eyes, seemingly straight into my head, and said, Stacy, I know what you're thinking. Relax. This is what you want, isn't it? If not, I won't think any worse of you if you want to leave. I'm not an axe murderer, and hopefully you're not either. I'm just like you. I've been where you are now. I just want to make you feel comfortable, to show you that you can be true to yourself. Please don't be frightened. Michelle gave me a friendly smile. I nodded, and she guided me into the living room where we sat down next to each other on the sofa. Michelle confidently crossed her legs, the friction of her pantyhose audibly swishing as she did. I sat more bashfully, trying to keep my legs together. After a few slow, deep breaths, I relaxed, and we talked about my journey over, our clothes, shoes, and makeup, and drank most of a bottle of wine. Michelle ran her red fingernails up and down my arm. I like touching you like this, Stacy. Do you like it? Very much, I said. Michelle leaned over and gently kissed me. It was a soft, chaste kiss. She pulled back, looked me in the eyes, and leaned forward for another. I met her in the middle. We gently touched lips and lingered for a second or two. 
It was simply gorgeous, a perfect moment that I'd been waiting for forever. Feeling her lipstick mix against mine, our perfume mingling in the air. Of course I'd been with women, but this was so different, knowing that we were both men, but yet so gentle. Michelle pulled back and caught me smiling. I can tell you liked that, Stacy. You pretty thing, all dressed up for me. Michelle moved her hand to my leg. Relax, my dear, I know. You're thinking instead of just being in the moment, aren't you? Her hand went further up my thigh, fingering the hem of my skirt. Who is touching your leg, Stacy? Tell me. You, you are, Michelle. And who am I? What am I? Tell me and tell yourself, Stacy. Michelle took my hand. She whispered, who am I? I gulped, eyes wide. You, you are, you're, go ahead, Stacy, who am I? I steeled myself. I wasn't a child. Why was this so difficult? You're a man, Michelle, like me. I blushed, and Michelle broke out into a grin. I knew I'd love your blushing even more in person, Stacy. So pretty. Yes, my dear, we're both men. Men dressed as women. Men kissing each other dressed as beautiful women. Pretty sissies together. As lovely as we look, I doubt we'd ever pass in public. As much as we try, our biology fails us, but we don't care, do we, Stacy? We dress for ourselves and each other, not for anyone else. Why do we try so hard to convince others around us of what we are and why? Especially potential romantic partners. Why not embrace who we are and be together? No explanations required. No worry, no stress. We know what we really are and what we want. Michelle laughed. Sissies need only apply. Do you agree, Stacy? Michelle moved her hand up further and rested it on my lap. Underneath, my boy parts were kept hidden by my form-fitting panties, but we both knew what lay below. I looked up at Michelle. I do. I felt like I had just been asked for my hand in marriage. Michelle stood and gestured. Let's continue this elsewhere. She led me upstairs, then down a hallway to her bedroom. It was large, beautifully decorated, and lit by candles. I stared at her king-size bed covered in lilac satin sheets. I told you, Stacy, you're free to leave any time. No, of course I want to stay here with you, Michelle. I leant in and kissed her, another perfect sissy kiss. We maneuvered onto the bed. We lay down side by side. In our closeness, I could feel Michelle's breast forms pressed against my own. She delicately removed my top, but left my bra on caressing my shoulders, teasing the straps. Take my shoes off, Stacy, she said softly. I moved down and undid the straps and gently removed each shoe. Undress me, Stacy. Remove my skirt first. I unhooked it from behind and helped her shimmy out of it. Now my top. I submissively carried out her commands. Michelle was now only in her bra, pantyhose, and panties. Stop. Now come back up to me. I lay back down next to her. Pull my hose down and off. Maintaining eye contact with her, I reached down and my hand searched below. I peeled her hose down from her waist and then along her silky smooth legs. Now remove your skirt and shoes, then take off your garter belt and stockings. I complied and laid back down again. Michelle continued. We talked so much before, Stacy, but you're so quiet now. Tell me what you're feeling inside. I replied, what do I feel? I guess still a little nervous, but more than that, happy. I feel content, like I'm smiling inside and out. Michelle sat up and gave me a hug. Well done, Stacy. Accept it. I did after denying it for so many years. Michelle kissed me. I love being a sissy, and I love being a sissy with you. She kissed me again and then playfully pushed me down on my back. She giggled. 
Aren't we such naughty boys? Whatever would our mothers say? We cuddled into each other. We were quiet for a second, enjoying the moment. Then Michelle whispered, You know, there's only our pretty panties separating us down there. Her eyes glanced down our bodies. I wrapped my legs around Michelle, moving us even closer together, our panties touching. You little minx, Stacy. I knew I'd love having you in my bed. Not such the shy little flower anymore, are you, dear? We kissed. Again, they were gentle kisses, kisses of love from one sissy to another. From our chats, Michelle knew that this was a fantasy of mine, to kiss and cuddle with another made-up sissy. I moved a little and put my arms around her neck. This is so wonderful, Michelle, thank you. I covered her with little kisses. Michelle and I talked for ages about my feelings and what I planned to do now. I confessed my undying love for her and she laughed, reminding me that we weren't teenagers, but we would definitely be seeing a lot more of each other. The wine taking effect, we fell asleep in each other's arms in our lingerie under the cool satin sheets. The next morning, there were no awkward moments, no feelings of regret, only feelings of warmth and love. After sharing a shower with Michelle, we both returned to our male forms. Seeing each other dressed in male clothing didn't change things between us. In fact, it seemed to make our bond stronger. We were sissies, whether dressed or not. Thanks to Michelle, I had finally accepted my true sexuality and was on the path to becoming the person I was always meant to be.